What if you're just starting out? What if you're looking for a way to escape the rat race and you want to start a company overseas? Or what if you're looking for an adventure, a change of scenery? You want to go and live somewhere else, but you're not sure what exactly you would do. Or maybe you're just young and you want to take advantage of all the world has to offer. There are a lot of different businesses you could run. You can run a business on the internet and just live wherever you please. But what if you want to run a real on-the-ground business? There's one idea that has stood out to me over the years as I've traveled around the world and done business. I'm going to tell you what that idea is and how you can take advantage of it in this video. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson. You know, we work with a lot of six and seven figure entrepreneurs here at Nomad Capitalist, but one thing I'd like to do is share what I'm seeing out there as I travel the world. And over the last decade, in about 100 countries, I've seen consistently one thing that is a big opportunity for someone who wants to come in and take advantage of it. And that is in the real estate business. There are very few countries where I go where I want to do deals or where I can get residence or citizenship for buying a property. Very few countries actually have anything organized. I talked in another video about how difficult it is uh, to find real estate deals overseas without having a connection. You can click somewhere up here and you can find that video. The challenge is you have bad websites, opaque information, and bad salespeople, as well as bad rental agents. And so the opportunity is to come in and to, number one, create a great website that aggregates all the data, has great listings with great photos. You'd be surprised how many places I go, I see one picture of like a bookshelf at a 30 degree angle sitting in someone's living room. It's terrible. And I'm literally stepping over listings that could be fantastic if only the real estate agent or the person selling their own house had the ability to upload a few good pictures. So having a website, getting some good photos, getting maps, getting information that can be searchable, putting it all in place is a very valuable thing. And I recently had a friend of mine call me from Chile, relatively developed country, said, I'm trying to find real estate here and I can't find one great source. Has that happened to you? Have you ever been looking for property? If that's you, comment below. That's the first thing. The second thing is, salesmanship. I've talked about how difficult it is to find someone who will show me properties, how difficult it is to find someone who will show up on time. I can't tell you how many countries I've been to, particularly in Eastern Europe and in Latin America, where I show up for a 12 o'clock appointment and I'm standing around in front of the McDonald's in the Central Square, and at 12.22, someone comes sauntering up, oh, I'm here. The standard of real estate agents that you would expect in a developed Western country just doesn't exist anywhere else. And so it's not only that, but it's the professionalism. I've seen people show up in jeans with holes in them in, in 1993 Geo Metros that are sputtering along. This is not the kind of professional experience you want. If you got together and put together a real estate agency, you don't have to spend a lot of money, but you have the website. And then you take that website and you leverage that into an agency where you hire a few professionals. Now, yes, you're going to need to train these local professionals who speak the language. You're going to need to train them in salesmanship. I knew someone once who helped open a real estate agency in Poland using the same thing. In Poland, commissions were 1%, and they had to try and convince all these old school sellers to pay an American-style 6% commission for all the much better service and the higher prices they were going to receive. It was tough. But training the salespeople was also part of the process, training them to go out there and to get listings and to make sales. But it can be done because I know so many people in these markets from Georgia to Cambodia to Colombia to Guatemala to all points in between, even many places in Europe, quite frankly, where there's just nobody who will show up on time, who will look professional in a clean vehicle, maybe with a little wrap around it. Whatever it is, the experience of buying and selling real estate is just terrible. And so to that point, number three, renting property. The same problem. So many people have problems renting property. And in many cases, unless you're renting some kind of super luxurious property at the very high end of the market, nobody wants to take that property on. 
So you have all these little properties, all these little deals, you know, $300, $500, $700 a month in markets all around the world where no one is willing to take those listings. When you look at people who've become very successful in real estate in the United States, Ryan Serhan, for example, talked about it. He started in New York. He would take on practically any rental listing in New York. You make a small commission, you build your book of business, and you grow from there. But people in a lot of these countries don't think that way. People in all these countries, they're not as high octane, okay? I've heard people talk about realtors in the United States and say, you gotta go out and find a high octane real estate agent who's on the ball, who's doing 50, 100, 200 deals a year. I know agents, I had a real estate agent uh, message me on Facebook just yesterday. He said, hey, is, your, uh, is that house you have still available? I said, I sold that a year and a half ago. It's, this, this guy, had, like, he's like, I finally got a client for you. I've, it's like my first client of the year, I'm ready to go. Nobody really understands the power of the internet because like, for example, in Georgia, Facebook is the internet for them. People aren't really looking on the internet, but yet there are all kinds of people coming in from the Arab world, increasingly from China, elsewhere, where they wanna find properties for sale. And they don't know where to go because they're not on the Georgian Facebook uh, system. And you know, a country that's done this very well is Turkey. You can go to all these different websites in Turkey. They don't sell resale real estate, like propertyturkey.com, there's all kinds of them. Um, they only sell real estate from developers. I think it's a problem. I think there's plenty of real estate you can sell for actual end users. But these, these websites in Turkey only sell real estate for developers because there's so much development. And now that the economy has slowed down, these developers are going crazy. They want to offload this stuff. But these websites only focus on selling to foreigners. Now, up until recently, Turkey did not, did not have a citizenship by investment program. They had a residence program, but okay, so does everyone. But yet, these developers were so good at having SEO and social media marketing and AdWords and everything else. Their websites were built. They were extensive. They had data. They had how to move to Turkey, how to live in Turkey. They had everything you need to know. And they were doing so much business. They still are. So much business from foreigners who are coming and investing there because they had the connections with the developers or the connections with whomever the seller is, whether developer or end user. They were able to bring people in the door and they become tremendously successful. Big multi-million dollar operations in a sense that most countries have not seen. Most countries are waiting for that kind of operation. Most countries are waiting for Zillow. Most countries are waiting for just a basic real estate agency that buys or sells and rents properties. If you can do that, I believe that there are many countries in the world where you could become a multimillionaire by supplying one of the most basic needs of all time, particularly in an era when foreign investment from places like China and the Arab world and elsewhere is on the increase. There's going to be a continued tremendous demand for that. In addition to the demand locally from people who are going to increasingly grow tired as they get into the internet age, increasingly grow tired of the old way of doing things. That, to me, is the number one on-the-ground business opportunity for someone who wants to live and build an empire somewhere else. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist. I wrote this book, which you can find on Amazon, to distill a lot of the stuff we talk about in these videos and a lot of the stuff I've learned over the last decade plus traveling all around the world, teaching you about how to legally reduce your taxes, build your personal freedom, and create wealth faster. Definitely get a copy of this book if you want to learn more. Now, if you want to watch more videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the notifications bell so you never miss one of our new videos with more tips on how to go where you're treated best. And if you're already a six or seven figure entrepreneur and you'd like to put these strategies in place for yourself, go to nomadcapitalist.com and learn about how I can help you.